Hello everyone, Messy Plays here, back at it again. How are you doing today? I am playing the Wolf Among Us. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Give me the fucking book then. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just give me the fucking book, you idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. The Smiths. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Finally. Okay, I think I did that the right way. Didn't need to smash every item. Bloody come on, men! Fucking trash my business over this bullshit! Protector of Babel down my ass. What a load of crap. Still got your TV. I need DJ Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Bunch of wands. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear, I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. 207. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book, your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage, I give them music, I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. What the, the hell? girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Got now, a lot of fucking bats. I've quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Smash the phone. All right, let's talk to that girl. Go on, let's have a pack. Okay. Hey, it's no smoking in here. Hello, business office. Is there anything there? Well, okay. Never yeah, mind. That's right. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Hmm. Business card. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Someone's like killing both coal girls. Clients. I think it's Crane, you know. Maybe he had a glamour or something. Is it okay, I put it in the cubby. Open. That's her open shit. Open, but there isn't even a lock. Okay. What's going on? So more to this than I'm I'm missing something. What? Okay, moving on. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. I 
me guess you are some kind of ultra fat troll. You're trying to place me. Are you they using used a glamour? Call me the Little Mermaid. Oh, cool. Once upon a Ariel. Time. What do they call you now? Ariel. Whatever makes them happy. Aw. Weren't you a bit more strong willed in the My story? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. It's weird that, like, most girls are turned into a prostitute in this. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number. But where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. I'm disappointed. I hoped you'd be helpful. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Jesus. These lips. You what? Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay, yeah. I got no money, mind. Okay. Okay. What would I need to do? One dollar. I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Okay. I thought I had no oh, money. I, uh, I don't. Uh... You can owe me. I owe you. Wait here for a second. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on. I'm not going to tell. Is it Georgie? Uh, the policeman's just hired me for a. Like. For a, a night? Not 207? You'll think of something. Come on. The open arms. Why would he give oh, you the key? It's so fucking met. obvious what's going on. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I've got a feeling it's gonna be some weird enchanted type shit. Like it's gonna be like a themed room, but an actual living theme. You know those sex hotels? Never been to one of course. Jesus. Everyone's fucking dirty as hell. I like it. If they make a TV show, they should set it in the 80s. Something about New York in the 80s is very, like, filth in it. Like, it had that look to it. Everything was graffitied and there was just newspaper all over the streets. Like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, the, the Warriors. People roller skating around subway stations they're using that font a lot I don't know I can't remember the name it's a classic font yeah she'll kill you nice I like it ironic There's something misleading about this hotel. The rooms are going to be like Probably crazy. That. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Yeah, it's going to be something weird. It's going to be a wizard or something running this place. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Beauty. Oh, uh, Beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. Everyone's so, so poor in this now game. You know. Why can't you get a normal job? I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beauty, 
I could honestly not care less about this. Do what you want. Seriously, you're just right. working out. Jeez. I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt. But I guess not. So, what are you doing here? You're just working at a reception. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Definitely looks like oh, Anna Kendrick. Yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? Everyone's that's all we get here. Yeah. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Um. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Um. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. You could have come to well, me. If this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Oh, dear. Oops. Jeez, we used to do that. Wait. Find a fucking ashtray. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Interesting. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Discretion is my middle name. My name. I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Two or four. Let's try two or seven, eh? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Jesus. Baby? How could you do this to me? No, Are you joking? No. What the fuck Wait are you doing here? How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love you. Not what it looks what like. Think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. 
I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me! It's gonna beast out. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. Ah! Come hey, on, throw master. me through the door. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! Is this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! Let him smash what the door the down. What do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Big Me! Come on! Come on, through the door. Uh. Leave him be. This is my fault. Beast, beast, beast. Oh, I did that. Oh, come on, I hate doing this. What the hell? Jesus. That's a bit much. You blinded the dude. I'm a good guy. Ah. You see, this is what happens. You try and be compassionate. Go on, beast through the door. You ruined everything! She's my. Straight through the door. I told you I was on a fucking case, you moron. Well, we got the door open. <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Sacrificial. Who's this? Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty. What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. She's a troll. I'll lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just... Do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? That was awesome. Good writing in this. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? Probably a wizard. That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. She's a fucking troll, man. Can't even imagine. Mm. That's that perfume. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Was she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he marked this page because he likes the sight of a helpless person. The flowers, shit. It's about power for our Mr. Smith. He likes to be in control. 
What the hell? Like he can't deal with people when they're awake? That makes him some kind of crazy, insecure deviant. Hmm. Maybe he killed her just because she woke up. You seem up. to know a lot about it. Jesus. I think I had the wrong pair, uh, the wrong guess there. I think it's the flowers. God. It's a half and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. All right, let's leave Apparently the accusations not. out of it. <sighs> he brought wine. Classy. Kind of intro music. It's got an outfit. Weird. Rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her, and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? There's a tape player over there. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. Duh. You're right. It's the same dress. So this freak made that poor girl dress up like Snow White, then cut her head off. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but... Just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Let's put, try this tape. She must have been so scared. Gonna be some classical music, maybe, or...? This is fucking bizarre, isn't it? It's so bizarre. It works so well, though. Like, it's such a strange I think I heard skew on classi last night. classical fairy tales, but it just worked. loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. It's it's fucking weird. The sound of the murder. Okay, that's enough of that. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Damn it, get it together, beauty. Be strong. Let's get out of here. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. Okay, I keep hearing that. Can I just get out of here then? What the fuck? Oh well, give me the tip. Ooh, an apple. Do you smell something? No, just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more. What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Yeah, the one that puts her in a no. deep sleep. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff too apparently he enjoys helpless women that's not going to bode well for anybody i hope you're just about through i don't really want to stay in here any longer okay
cause. Are those pictures of the dead girl? No, the living one. It's gonna be How all the princesses. You know? I'm in this one. Hmm. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Holy shit. I told you. I fucking told you it was him. Dirty bastard. Interesting. Real crane or fake crane? Oh, wow. That one was shorter. He could be after you now. Good. I Is that am an hour and a half? to get my hands on that. Oh, shit. I'm not going to watch it. Um, okay, so... Uh, unless it's a fake out, Crane is behind the murders. Um, they showed him in his office, so that's quite a big clue that it's not glamour. But why would he leave photos of himself doing it? It sounds like a frame up to me. That whole stop laughing thing when he was burying the body? Um, I don't know, like, we're only two two episodes into a five episode arc so and I guess straight away that it might be Crane obviously the whole connection to Sleepy Hollow but I think that'd be too easy I think maybe it's it's a glamour thing he's being framed he owes money to someone and that's why he's been so nervous that anti-acid is maybe a I'm gonna get framed I'm gonna get hung for this but it's not actually me and how do I really you know defend myself so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and catch me next time for episode 3. Goodbye, guys.